wild world of Animal Crossing, where cute and cuddly creatures roam free, and you're tasked with creating your very own virtual paradise. But what if we told you that lurking behind those innocent looking animals are some dark and terrifying secrets? Today, we're delving into the spooky side of Animal Crossing to explore some of the more unsettling discoveries players have made. I'm Kyle with 1UP Inch, and these are scary secrets in Animal Crossing, creepy to terrifying. Let's start with some very creepy alien messages. There are actually some unsettling broadcasts that happen on Animal Crossing on Saturday mornings. If you're up in the wee hours of the morning and sitting in front of your TV in your home, you might just stumble upon something strange. What happens is this garbled message comes through on the screen, and the background music that plays is very eerie, like something out of a horror movie. And get this, it's from an alien life form. What could this alien be trying to say? Is it a warning? The thing that really adds to the creepiness is that it doesn't have any effect on the player. It's like this weird event is happening for its own sake, and you're just a passive witness to it. You can't interact with it or do anything to stop it. It's just there, watching you. Following, let's talk about the option of bullying villagers. Animal Crossing New Horizons brings back the bug net tool that allows players to catch bugs on their island. However, this innocent tool has a darker side. It can also be used to bully other players and villagers by hitting them on the head. Although the hit has no real effect and is more of a comedic gesture, it's still a bit surprising that this feature was included given Nintendo's history of promoting non-violence in the series. This feature kind of allows players to bully the other villagers, which perhaps isn't too creepy, but it is concerning. But let's talk about creating gruesome scenes. Can you imagine a crime scene in Animal Crossing? It's kind of hard to picture. Well, some fans have taken the game's design tools to a whole new level of creepy. They've created patterns for things like blood splatters, pentagrams, and even eerie symbols associated with satanic rituals. This might be jarring to some, especially given the game's cutesy and adorable aesthetic, but for others, it's a thrilling challenge to create the spookiest scenes possible. It's kind of like a twisted game within a game. But what's even creepier is the fact that you can speak to the dead. Have you encountered a wisp in Animal Crossing? Well, don't let its cute appearance fool you. This little ghost is actually pretty spooky. You can find it at night in the woods looking for its missing spirit pieces. If you collect them, you'll be rewarded with a gift. But have you ever stopped to think about what it means to have a ghost on your island? It implies that someone has died there, which is pretty dark in such a family-friendly game. It makes you wonder if there is an afterlife in the Animal Crossing universe, and what other dark secrets might be hiding behind its cute facade. Things get scarier with the human-like mannequins. In Animal Crossing New Horizons, mannequins were introduced as a new way to display clothing items. While they may seem harmless at first, they raise some eerie questions about the game's world. For one, mannequins are essentially human-shaped furniture, which begs the question of whether actual humans exist in the Animal Crossing universe. And if they do exist, where are they? The fact that mannequins are the closest thing we have to human-like figures in the game is unsettling. It makes you wonder if there's something wrong with the villagers that makes them not look like that. Are they missing some crucial feature that makes them less human-like? Or perhaps the mannequins are a hint at something darker, like a past tragedy that wiped out the human population on the island. Let's talk about the fish being a bit too real. It's interesting to see how Animal Crossing's graphics have evolved over time, and there's no doubt that New Horizons features the best graphics of the franchise to date. However, with that improvement in graphical fidelity, there's come a very small downside. Some of the game's fish are now absolutely terrifying to look at. In previous Animal Crossing games, fish were just polygonal blobs that didn't have much detail to them. But in New Horizons, fish are high poly models that look far more realistic than previous versions. And while that's great for immersion, some fish end up looking so realistic that they're just downright unsettling and scary. One of the most prominent examples is the ocean sunfish. While it's true to life, it's not exactly the prettiest fish out there. With its large bulging eyes that stare right into your soul, it can give you goosebumps. And then there's the barrel eye, which is already creepy in real life with its translucent dome head and protruding green eyes. And in the game, it's just as creepy, if not more so. Moving on, let's talk about the ruins. The ruins in Animal Crossing can be found in a variety of ways whether on the Happy Home Paradise Island or through the use of furniture items that allow players to create 
create their own ruins. While they add a touch of mystery and intrigue to the game, they also raise unsettling questions. Who were the people who built these structures? Why did they leave or disappear? What events led to the ruins being abandoned and left to decay? The ruins serve as a reminder that there is a darker history lurking beneath the surface of this idyllic island life in Animal Crossing. It's as if the game is whispering to us that there is more going on here than meets the eye, and that we should be wary of what secrets might be hidden just out of sight. Speaking of which, let's talk about the human bones. Deep in the quiet world of Animal Crossing lies a disturbing secret that will chill you to the bone. While players innocently dig up fossils to sell or donate to the museum, they might stumble upon a human-like skull and bones that look eerily recent. The thought that someone might have been trapped in their virtual reality, resetting their game over and over until they met their virtual end, is enough to send shivers down your spine. It's a bit of a sinister, unsettling discovery that adds a layer of darkness to the otherwise wholesome and family-friendly game, reminding us that even in the most innocent of places, something dark may be lurking beneath the surface. And then there are A-Live wallpapers. In Animal Crossing, players can decorate their homes with various furniture and wallpaper. Two of the new animated wallpapers, Graveyard and Candles, may seem harmless at first, but they both have a spooky surprise in store. With the graveyard wall, if you turn off the lights, you'll notice a ghost lurking in the background. But the real terror comes when you turn the lights on and off again. The ghost will move closer to you each time. As for the candles wall, when paired with the magic circle flooring and the lights off, a creepy summoning circle of light will appear. It's enough to send a chill down your spine and make you question if you should really be playing this game alone at night. Just remember not to summon any demons, or you might regret it. These eerie discoveries add a layer of creepiness to the game that can catch players off guard. Now let's talk about how Mr. Rossetti can be manipulative. Mr. Rossetti is a strange character in Animal Crossing who breaks the fourth wall and blurs the line between real life and the game. His job is to remind players that they can't reset real life, nor should they reset the game, which is a common tactic for many players. While he may seem like a harmless mole with a bad attitude, his appearance can be quite jarring and even disturbing, especially for young children. But the creepiness of Mr. Rossetti runs deeper than his bad attitude and sudden appearances. He seems to have the ability to see beyond time and space, knowing whenever a player wants a do-over or has cheated to get one. This knowledge implies that he's watching and monitoring the player's actions within the game. Perhaps the most terrifying thing about Mr. Rossetti is his ability to fake deleting a player's progress. While he doesn't actually delete the save file, he makes it seem like he does causing panic and fear in players who are not familiar with his antics. This kind of manipulation and deception is quite creepy, especially in a game that's targeted towards all ages. But what's really scary are the bughead decorations. It's always exciting to add new items to your digital home, but some of the options in New Horizons are scary, to say the least. I'm talking about the grasshopper head, mantis head, and wasp head models that you can hang on your walls like some kind of twisted trophy collection. These models are blown up versions of bug heads, with all their details and features magnified to terrifying proportions. You can see their mandibles and antenna up close and personal, which is not something that many people would want to do. It's pretty unnerving to see them displayed as art in a house, even if they were created by the special visitor Flick, who apparently enjoys making them. It's hard to decide what's worse, the models themselves or the fact that Flick is responsible for creating them. But we have to admit, he does add a unique element to the game. It's not often that you see such creepy decorations in a video game, let alone one like Animal Crossing. Next up, we have a classic which is literally losing your face. Imagine you are minding your own business, exploring your friend's village, when suddenly you decide to hit that reset button. You think nothing of it, maybe you just want to start fresh or check out a different time of day. But what happens next will send shivers down your spine. Instead of a visit from the usual angry mole, Mr. Rossetti, you find yourself stripped of everything you own, all your money, all your items, and worst of all, all of your face. That's right, your character's face will disappear leaving you with the blank, eerie gaze of one of Animal Crossing's famous gyroids. If that wasn't bad enough, some players have also reported villagers disappearing after they pulled off this trick. It's enough to make you never want to borrow a friend's save card again. But here's the real kicker. Many players believe that this faceless glitch is actually a failsafe put in place to prevent a game-breaking bug. If that bug were to occur, it would force players to rebuild their entire town from scratch, losing all their progress and hard work. So while the glitch may be terrifying, it's also a reminder of how fragile our games and virtual worlds 
worlds can be. Then there are the Dharma dolls, which would give anyone a chill. In Animal Crossing, there is a series of furniture items called Dharma dolls that are based on traditional Japanese figures used in Buddhism. They're usually seen in pairs, with one doll representing male energy and the other female energy. However, there is a smaller version of these dolls called the Mini Dharma that is particularly creepy. These mini Dharma dolls have a unique function that can only be activated when you touch them. When you touch the pupil of one of the doll's eyes, it disappears, and a horrifying shriek-like noise is emitted. If you touch it again, the pupil reappears, and the shriek is heard once more. It's no wonder that the player in the story was terrified after discovering this function. Interestingly, the Dharma dolls in Japanese culture are meant to represent protection and good luck, but in Animal Crossing, the mini Dharma takes on a much more sinister tone, so if you ever come across one in the game, be warned. Touching it might just give you a scare that you won't forget. But let's end things with our final entry, as there is nothing more terrifying than the gyroids. In the world of Animal Crossing, players can collect a variety of items to decorate their homes, including the adorable and quirky gyroids. These little figurines are funny at first glance with their unique shapes and playful animations. However, the origin of gyroids is rooted in ancient Japanese culture specifically the practice of burying Hanawa figures with the deceased as offerings to the gods. So basically, when players are digging up these gyroids, they might actually be disturbing a grave or disturbing the spirits of the dead. It's a subtle nod to the dark and creepy undertones that exist in the game, adding a layer of unease to the otherwise charming gameplay. But the creepiness doesn't end there. Some gyroids have unsettling designs and noises that they make that make them even more disturbing. For example, tall buzzoids emit a haunting modem-like cry when you interact with them, while freakoids scream like creepy crying babies. Howloids and poltergoids are also particularly creepy because of their ghoulish faces and eerie noises. To make matters worse, gyroids can appear anywhere, even in unexpected places. Dr. Shrunk, a character in Animal Crossing New Leaf, mentions that the gyroids in Club Lowell just showed up out of the blue on the club stage. This adds an element of unpredictability and mystery to these already unsettling items. 